everyone. It's um, Tuesday, I think, August like 10th or 11th or something like that. I just wanted to make a really quick video because I haven't in a while. It's been really busy and um, yeah, just super busy. So I haven't really had time to be by myself and to to think about what I wanted to say. I really don't have time to think about what I want to say right now. Stuff has been happening just um, outside, like with my friends and family and stuff has been happening here and um, it's just been crazy. So um, I'm about to go to Relational Wholeness. We're doing that instead of Pure Heart. Um, I can't imagine being any more tender than this place already makes me, uh, but apparently in these it's like seven hours of intense, like, like today we talked about mother wounds, and um, I'm really thankful that I have a good mom. Um, not There's not some wounds there just from, because life happens and she's not perfect, but um, just really thankful for the ways that she was sort of perfect despite everything that was going on. Um, you know, she told me that she loved me and that I was beautiful, and um, anyway, so that's, I'm really thankful for that. Uh, what else has been going on? I'm really crunched for time right now. So, yeah, I can't really think of anything. <laughs> this is a really interesting video. Great. Okay. Yeah, it's pouring rain outside, so I don't know how I'm going to get back to the cafeteria. In Kansas City, it'll start raining, and like... It comes out of nowhere. Hang on, let me see if you can see this. I know this quality of video is not that great, but if you can see the sheets of rain coming down, and about five minutes ago, it wasn't raining at all. I probably gave y'all a really close up of my chompers. <laughs> see my teeth, they're so pretty. Um, so my best friend got married and that threw me into like a whirlwind of different thoughts. It really allowed a lot of my fears towards God and um, just both like she was my last single friend and so like jealousy happened and um, then fear about whether God's going to come through for me and what path does he have me on since what if our paths are going to be different and I thought they were going to be the same and you know we have all these plans and sometimes the plans that God has for you are different from even like what you thought and what the world says is successful and what the world says makes you happy, maybe God knows better that it doesn't make you happy um, or won't or you, maybe you wouldn't be satisfied quite or maybe you're just not ready yet for that. And so I've just been entering into that, that I'm just, I'm different, you know. Um, what else? That was pretty big. I don't know. God's just really been bringing me into a place of like, Jesus saying, there is a place inside of you, there is a loneliness that you can try to fill with so many things. You can try to fill with friends and family and mothers and fathers and brothers and best friends and dogs and clothes. And I mean, it's so cliche, you know, like Christians in the Christian world, it's so cliche to say like, there's a place that only he can fill. But really, he's just been bringing me into Really? Am I, if I take your best friend away, am I your best friend? If I take your dog away, am I your companionship? Am I your comfort? If I take the dream of marriage away, am I your husband? Am I enough? If I, ta you know, if I take your mother away, am I your mother? You know, God, there's so many qualities that are mothering and nurturing, and he has every quality. He's all-encompassing love. Every type of love that we look for in this world, he is it. He is love, all of them, agape, all types of love. That's what God is, and he meets every single need. You could live in this life as a poor, destitute, lonely, I mean, eunuch. You could have nothing, no one, a leper, and Jesus could meet every need, and you could be fully satisfied. And so he's just bringing me to that place, really, just like if I take away everything, your beauty, everything, your confidence. If I just take away everything, am I enough? And um, that's really what God is wanting from each of us. He's wanting us to come to a place where he is enough to meet all of those needs and to satisfy every desire that we have. 
And I'm not saying it's easier that I'm there, but, you know, I'm just realizing his place in that, like, the reality of it. And it's not just something to say, like, there's this vacuum, there's a God-shaped hole inside of me, you know, like that song says. It's not a cliche, it's real. You know, we were, we were made with eternity inside of us, with God, a place for God to exist, God, who can't be even encompassed by time, to dwell inside of us. We were made that way. So we need to live like it, and we need to step into that place where nothing else can even hold a candle to what he does 